We're looking at the temporary steel supports erected out in the bay, which are an essential part of building the self-anchored suspension bridge. What we're really doing here is building a bridge to build a bridge. When we build a self-anchored suspension bridge, we do that completely opposite of how you would build a traditional suspension bridge, such as the Golden Gate Bridge or the West Spans of the Bay Bridge. When building this kind of traditional suspension bridge, we construct the anchorages and towers first, then we attach the cable, and then we build the road decks. What we're doing is turning traditional suspension bridge building on its head. Since our main cable that holds up the roadway is connected into the roadway itself, we need to build the roadway first. We need to build a temporary bridge to hold up the roadway until the cable is attached. That's where all the steel comes in. The process is fairly straightforward. The steel is floated out on barges and lifted into place using one of the largest barge mounted cranes in the world and the largest in the western United States. The left coast lifter has more than a 7,000 ton lifting capacity and will also lift the permanent deck sections on top of that temporary structure. The men and women working 150 feet in the air are helping connect more than 18,000 tons of the steel truss, which is very similar to the existing steel truss of the original East Band. But all of that steel is temporary. The new East Band, when completed, will look nothing like the original East Band. Once the weight of the decks has been transferred to the cable, the temporary structure will be removed and recycled.